You have questions, we have answers. You're in luck. It is time for another mailbag here on NFL Daily. It's part of our live shows that we do each and every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. And if you use the hashtag NFL, you can get your questions in to be a part of said mailbag show. Let's start with a super chat from Digested Raptor 6. As a Packer fan, I'm ready for Aaron to move on. I like what I saw in love. Time to reload with love. We got young stud receivers he vibed with, a nice one-two punch at running back, and a defense that should improve. Digested Raptor 6, uh, thanks for the uh, $10 super chat, uh, my friend. Appreciate that. Here's what I would look at, Digested Raptor 6, is that when you look at this Packers team, even with Aaron Rodgers there, they are closer to the bottom than they are the top at this point with the way that roster is assembled there in Green Bay. And so I would say, yes, Green Bay should move on from Aaron Rodgers, and that's not a knock on Aaron Rodgers at all. Don't get me wrong here. I still think he's got some great football left ahead of him, even as he's approaching his 40s. That's not what I'm saying here. When you're Green Bay and you need to rebuild, now is the time to capitalize on getting the draft capital that you can out of Aaron Rodgers and then seeing what you can get out of Jordan Love as well, where he's at at this point in his career. You have to know what you have in in, uh, Jordan Love at this point. So I see what you mean there, Digested Raptor 6. I want to see... Aaron Rodgers somewhere else get a fresh start, but also what the Packers can do to take this next step as an organization with Jordan Love potentially leading this team. Next question coming in, uh, should the 40, what should the 49ers do in free agency? This 49ers team looks very good, right? They are so stacked at every position you could potentially think of. When you look at the defense, when you look at the – Uh, wide receiver group, the tight end position, the offensive line, even the quarterback group. I know that there's been some question marks in the past with Garoppolo to Lance, but we've seen that the quarterback position in San Francisco finds a way to work itself out. For me, what I'm looking for when it comes to this San Francisco 49er team is to kind of hold on to what you have to do what you can to keep this roster intact as much as possible. I think that is your priority, is to keep what you have. Think about, for example, like Brandon Ayuk. He is going to be a name that's going to be heavily desired by other teams. Can they afford to pay him? Some of the other guys they think about. To me, I'm not so concerned about signing other guys in free agency. It's about keeping the guys you have there in San Francisco. Colin wants to know, did the Eagles get robbed in the Super Bowl? Colin, no, they did not get robbed in the Super Bowl. That flag that we saw, the holding call, was the right call. It was, plain and simple. That was the right call that the Eagles got handed there late in the game. James Bradbury even admitted it himself. And I know some of you were going to say, well, you can't call that penalty that late in a championship game. The rules can't simply change because you're later in the football game. That's not how that works. It was the right call. I know that some people don't like to see games in that way. I understand, but the refs have a job to do. And we knew that Carl Jeffers calls more penalties than any other ref in the NFL that they were going to call a ticky-tack game. It's what we expected. It's what we get. I don't think the Eagles got robbed. I think the better team won. What say you? This is our pen comment today. You might get an ad break. If so, take advantage of it. Get your votes in. Did the Eagles get robbed? Let me know why for yes. In for no. Tell me in the comments section if you think the Eagles got robbed or not. RC Plane Builder writes, should the Eagles trade the eighth overall pick or stay put? Um, It really just depends on what they think of Desmond Ritter, potentially. I see the Eagle, the, uh, the Falcons rather, only moving up in the draft for a quarterback if they like C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young or Will Levis and they feel that one of those guys – is going to not be available when they pick at eight of who they like there, okay? And so then at that point, to me, that's what I'm looking at moving up potentially is if you were not all in on Desmond Ritter and you like one of those other guys, then that makes sense. There's also the other possibility of if you trade for Lamar Jackson, you'd have to give up the number eight pick. So to put it this way, I think you trade the pick if you like a quarterback – if there's a move that you potentially want to make there. If you're all in with Desmond Ritter, 
then there's probably not a trade package that you'd like with that number eight pick. No sense in trading down if you're Atlanta. Uh, Junior says, should the Patriots trade for T. Higgins? You looked at this New England team over the last few years, and they haven't really gotten better. You know, they've kind of just stayed where they are. They, they're, they're not a bad team, but they're not a good team either. Bill Belichick's roster has been just kind of average, and we've been waiting for a breakthrough of some sorts with this New England Patriots team. T. Higgins could come in right away and be your number one receiver. You pair him up with Jacoby Myers. That could make a lot of sense for that New England Patriots team to pair those two together. But you would have to give up a, a decent amount to get T. Higgins, and you have to pay him as well. I don't think that's a bad idea by any means, but we'll see. Uh, I, I don't know if uh, if Belichick's willing to do that type of thing, if that's something he's interested in, but – T. Higgins would certainly improve the New England Patriots team if they uh, brought him in. Got to tell you, we are offering some great shirts for Chiefs fans to celebrate their Super Bowl win over the Philadelphia Eagles. And these shirts are available now at chatsports.com slash Chiefs SB. Whether it's the hats, the shirts, the hoodies, they are all in one place. You can get yours now and be celebrating that Chiefs Super Bowl win. Maybe you're not a Chiefs fan, but somebody in your family or friend is, you can get them that as well. We're also got a deal on jerseys, and they're on sale now for $99 while supplies last. It is a great deal. Just 100 bucks essentially, for a jersey of some of your favorite players from across the National Football League. What are you waiting for? Get yours now, chatsports.com slash jersey deal. You'll be glad you did, chatsports.com slash jersey deal. Eli writes, where will Aaron Rodgers play next season? That is the uh, big question everybody wants to know. Where will Aaron Rodgers play? It won't be in Green Bay. I can tell you that much right now that he's not going to be a a Green Bay Packer. I think it's down to two teams. I think it's down to the New York Jets and the Las Vegas Raiders. It's going to be one of those two unless something changes potentially. It's going to be one of those two unless there's another one involved at some point in time. And it's the connections, right? You look at the Jets and – you know, we know that they hired uh, a couple guys that have worked with Aaron in the past on the coaching staff. And then you look at Las Vegas, and Devontae Adams is there, of course. So those things just all make sense. It seems like those two are the front runners. There's still plenty of time. Another team could emerge here. But right now, it seems like one of those two. I would lean towards the Raiders at this point, but I think the Jets are going to put all their cards on the table to try to make this move. Where do you think Aaron Rodgers plays next year? Tell us in the comments section of today's video where you think that Rodgers is going to end up. Maybe if if it's even back in Green Bay. What is it? Let us know in the comments section below where you think Aaron Rodgers is going to go. We're covering the NFL all offseason long. The NFL season may be over, but we are not done yet here at Chat Sports as we're talking about the National Football League each and every day. Trades, free agency. We're counting down to the draft. This is the place to be. You ain't alive if you ain't subscribed to Chat Sports. Doesn't cost you a thing. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. YouTube.com slash at Chat Sports for more. A $5 Super Chat coming in. And uh, if you're watching the live show, we'll pay that off here in just a second officially. Um, $5 Super Chat from the greatness of the Raiders. How many trades in the first round do you believe will happen in this year's draft? Hard to say exactly how many trades will happen, but I do think that we are going to see teams be aggressive because you looked at last year's draft and there was only one quarterback taken in the first round. I think this year we expect at least three, probably four taken, and the more quarterbacks you have, the more teams that are quarterback hungry, the more likely you are to get trades of sorts. So I think that we're going to see quite a few trades. I wouldn't necessarily put a number, specific number on it, but I would take the over. I'd lean towards it being a very high number of trades that we see in uh, this upcoming draft. Evan writes, if the Chargers start off slow, will they make Kellen Moore their interim coach? I assume uh, Evan wants to know that being a Boise State fan. Uh, Kellen Moore, of course, the – the greatest quarterback probably in Boise State history. He and uh, Jared Zabransky there uh, with the Broncos. But Kellen Moore, I would think that he would be right in line to get his shot to be 
the uh, interim head coach of the Chargers. You look at that Charger team, and, you know, they, they've come up just short, right? That's a team that has a really good roster, but they haven't been able to get over that hump. And if they start slow, we already know that Staley's on thin ice having to fire uh, some of his coaches from this past offseason. Watch out. Yeah, I think Kellen Moore would be right in line potentially to get his shot. I like Kellen Moore. I thought the Cowboys did him dirty. I thought they had bigger issues than Kellen Moore personally. I think this is a breath of fresh air for him to get this fresh start with the L.A. Chargers. He should succeed there. And uh, being paired up with Justin Herbert, I'd much rather coach uh, Herbert any day than I would Dak Prescott personally. Maurice writes, of the quarterbacks that are on the market, who would you rather have? So, let's break this down, okay? Uh, Tom Brady's retired, so we won't count him. But you got Lamar Jackson potentially in the trade market. Aaron Rodgers is out there. Jimmy G, Derek Carr, Baker Mayfield, um, just to name a few. Geno Smith is out there as well. Um, Although, all signs kind of point to that Seattle's going to do what they can to bring back Geno Smith. I personally would, would take Aaron Rodgers. If you're telling me, that I'm making a move to be a Super Bowl contender in 2023. There's no other quarterback I'd rather have to lead my team right now than Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers can jump into any system, and you can adapt it, and you can build that offense around Aaron Rodgers and make it work. To me, if that's what we're looking for, we're trying to build a contender right now to win in this moment, Aaron Rodgers is going to be the guy I want to make that happen personally. Lamar, you have the questions when it comes to the injury history and then him as a passer. Jimmy G and Baker Mayfield, their careers have been up and down, and then I'm not touching Derek Carr with a 10-foot pole. So, yeah, uh, I'm not interested in that. So, Maurice, Aaron Rodgers would be that guy. We mentioned Lamar. Where is he going to end up next year? Where is Lamar Jackson going to go? Tell us in the comments section where you think Lamar is going to end up in 2023. We'll be back in Baltimore would be a team like Atlanta, Las Vegas, the Jets. Where is uh, Lamar Jackson going to end up? Tell us in the comment section below where you think uh, Lamar Jackson is going to go. We've got time for a few more questions. Uh, Chappie says, car to the Panthers, good or bad? Bad. I-, I-, I don't want Derek Carr. I would not want Derek Carr anywhere near my team. If I'm a Panthers fan and Derek Carr is the guy you end up with, why didn't you just keep Sam Darnold at that point? To me, Derek Carr, you looked at that offense of all the weapons they had in Las Vegas, and they had nothing to show for it last year. Uh, That would be a mistake uh, if you're the Carolina Panthers. Go get a young quarterback or bring Sam Darnold back, whatever it may be. You don't need to be paying Derek Carr that money as far as I'm concerned. 